Beautiful Taurus, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. <laughs> I'm coming in to do your weekly reading. Got a little bit of a new setup tonight because I wanted to give you a bird's eye view of what I see when I'm reading for you. So this way you can see the cards uh, more clearly. And it's a new year and I just decided to do a new experiment with um, the readings tonight. I'm not switching over to this all the time, but I thought it might be fun to do it this way tonight. <laughs> okay, so you guys, thank you again so, so much for supporting um, all of my videos, really, um, because you guys are like amazing, and I've got the largest Taurus audience on my channel of any of the signs, so thank you, <laughs> first of all. But especially thank you for supporting that last video I put out for the 12 months for Taurus. If you haven't seen it yet, you can look on my channel. In fact, I'll probably put a link on this so it'll come up the last five seconds of this reading as well. But you guys are just the best and your comments brought me to tears like, like it often does because you all are so kind. <laughs> just, um, you're amazing. You're an amazing group of souls. You really are. And I appreciate you very, very much. So, on that note, let's get started with your reading. <laughs> I had to kill a stink bug. Yeah. Wonder who that was. Like, wonder who that represented, like, flying at me all of a sudden when I was saying how much you all are such a beautiful group of souls. A stink bug came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. All right, Taurus. <clears throat> He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what's coming up. I'm using the Wise Dog Tarot because I know you guys love dogs and they love you all as a group. And Sparky and Chippy are nearby. You just can't see them on camera tonight. Sparky's laying under my table here. Wow, a lot of stuff going on here, Taurus. Wow. I'm like one big goosebump. What is this card about? King of Swords reversed. Um, something gave me the goosebumps along in here. Yeah, so Nine of Swords and King of Swords. Huh. So maybe that's your stink bug. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out what's going on with that. You know, things happen in my readings like that. Nature um, has a way of adding in things you know in one of the Aries readings about a month ago um, a spider got on my finger um, right in here and it literally bit my finger I've still got a little tiny scar there a little black spider bit my finger in the it's on the video <laughs> you can go back and see it if you want to Aries I don't, I've forgotten when it was but um, yeah things happen in readings and they're no accident you know, there are just no accidents about that. So your stink bug, your stink bug was trying to say something. We'll find out what. <laughs> okay, Taurus, we're going to start here and then uh, we'll do some clarification and see where this goes, okay? But the first thing I'm seeing is, yeah, somebody's looking in on you. Somebody's either um, spying on you or somebody is... Um, like kind of stalking you online, kind of looking you up. They kind of want to see what you're doing. And I just feel like this is somebody out of curiosity. We'll see where this goes. But this is somebody uh, sometimes bringing a message. Sometimes it's a messenger with some sort of weird news. <laughs> it could be a text or something like that. But usually it's just somebody from afar you never even really know about. It's kind of looking in on you. There's a reason they're telling you this. Now, your... Um, crossing card or your challenge card is the nine of pentacles and it did come up reverse for some of you this is all about being self-sufficient and having stability and about being really happy like being happy in your own skin being happy where you live and that sort of thing for some of you it came up reverse like you could be happier like some of you are like yeah I'm not sure I kind of I don't know it's a challenge you know it's a challenge trying to be happier and when it comes up reverse like this sometimes it has to do with some instability um, in some 
area of your life. Sometimes money, because it did come up with the pinnacles. But this is a card of just stability in general and happiness. So some of you are like, yeah, but I could be happier. You know, that sort of feeling is kind of your challenge. Now, what's going on this week? And again, I'm, I'm reading for you right now. This is going to be like January um, 10 through 17. Okay. So I'm kind of looking at this week. And there's something here about feeling a little out of balance. And maybe just feeling kind of like just a little blah. I don't know. Get a little blah from this Three of Cups reversed and this Justice reversed cards. Kind of like, yeah like just kind of off. I don't know. I mean, it is that time of year and I just feel like for some of you, like you're like, well, the party's over, you know, it could be like the holidays are over and it's just kind of in your general energy. But, you know, I can really say that for any of the signs and a lot of people, cause it just sort of, you know, kind of comes with the territory after holidays and all that excitement and busyness and things like that. So we have got, they gave me an extra card in here. So, yeah, they want me to give you two things, two things going into the past. I don't know if they're related or yet not, um, yet or not, but we'll see. So it looks like some of you may have had a love interest that is sort of moving out, sort of moving into the past a little bit. Knight of Cups has to do with new love offers and, or any kind of, you know, it can be an offer that you loved. But I feel like it's moving into the past and it's right next to this magician reversed. And when I get magician reversed, it's, you know, sometimes somebody who's kind of tricky, um, you know, somebody maybe wasn't completely honest or a bit manipulative and maybe this was your love offer. And that's why it's moving into the past. So if we go over here into your future, <clears throat> Let's see how many cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make sure I know where I'm at here. Yeah. This is where I said, um, this is your stink bug part of the reading. <laughs> okay. So we've got nine of swords, which is the anxiety card having to do with, um, sleepless nights and, you know, worrying about things that are going to bug you and keep you awake. Like these cats are keeping this dog awake and king of swords reversed. It's usually not a very nice person. Now, this is showing up in your kind of immediate future, like today, when you watch this or this week. This King of Swords reverse is showing up more toward the end of the month or sometime now through the end of the month. King of Swords is not always a bad person, but sometimes this is somebody when they're reversed who can be manipulative. Okay, and we saw this manipulation over here. So I feel like there's anxiety about this person and sure enough, this might not be the nicest person. You know, when he's upside down, he can be anything from just a hot and cold personality to somebody not really connected with their emotions and that sort of thing. Now I'm saying he, because um, I read the cards as they come up. This is King of Swords. Could be a Queen of Swords. So take it as it resonates. You know, it's up to you to switch the roles and genders and stuff that fit your story because I can't do it for everybody all the time. I try, but I can't get it all the time. So um, these two go together. Here's your stink bug. Okay. It's exactly what it was. And these two cards had a lot of hot energy. Remember I pulled them right away. A lot of energy on that situation. So we'll definitely clarify that. Now Taurus, other people think you're spending too much time to yourself. <laughs> This is views of others. Uh, I feel like people are going, wow, uh, Taurus just doesn't want to go do anything. Taurus is kind of like hanging out by themselves. And um, you may just be doing that, you know, but that is other people's perception of you at this time. And I did see this energy earlier, remember, with the Justice card and, this, you know, the Party's Over card and things just feeling off and out of balance. Yeah, you know, it's January. What can you say? So when I go over here, here's your hopes and fears cards, the three of wands, you're afraid some opportunities might not be coming in for you. And when I go to the final outcome of the spread, not for the rest of your life, okay, just the spread, I get the full card, whoops, the full reversed. And see the snake about to bite this little dog? And this is, and here's a, you know, a hawk, I mean a crow flying up here. There's a lot going on here, but this is reversed, okay? So I would watch out for toxic energy, for one thing. 
and also I feel like you're getting messages a lot of messages coming up and because it came up reversed it could be that you're a little reluctant to go down a new path you know there are new opportunities showing up and you're kind of like you're going to get those opportunities and then it's like then what do I have to take on <laughs> okay so let's first of all let's clarify the stink bug energy okay we're clarifying nine of swords and king of swords and if you weren't tuned in in the beginning a stink bug flew down on me right when I was pulling these cards so or some of the cards having to do with this energy here we go again full card again there it is there it is new path so I feel like you might be reluctant to go down a new path with this person. I don't know if this was the love offer that I do see going into the past, but it's happened. I feel like you got a love offer and I'm not sure you trust it. Yeah, you might be either juggling people, situations, or money. Okay, there's some juggling... Um, yeah, there's something about some juggling going on there and also two opportunities like you're trying to, you know, which opportunity do I want this one or that one? You know, there's that kind of thing. A lot of energy between the two of them waiting for your ship to come in, but kind of standing in this rising tide. <laughs> like I got to make a decision. I got to decide fast before the high tide comes in. You know, it's that kind of feeling with this card. Oh, there we go. There are new opportunities. Look, three of wands. Let's see what else. <clears throat> so there are new opportunities with that king of swords. But there's disappointment. I feel like king of swords has disappointed you in some way. Here's five of cups. You know, that's disappointment. Sometimes betrayals. <clears throat> Lies and betray betrayals and just feeling left out in the cold and I don't know not feeling loved and walking away I don't know some of you may decide to just walk away from this and again I saw this new love going into the past earlier because this person was tricky and here it is again so I feel like this has happened and still kind of happening this week and some of you are dealing with this because this is this is saying goodbye you know this eight of cups is like Oh, I'm out of here. I'm going to leave the situation behind. So let's go over here and let's clarify. What do we want to clarify? Actually, what I want to, I think the rest of it's actually pretty clear. Let's ask the cards, what happens next? Where does this go for Taurus? This isn't the kind of readings I've been getting for you, Taurus. I've been getting like super successful readings. And so this is either for a different um, part of the Taurus, um, you know, viewership out there or something specific for somebody. But this reading is very specific about a tricky love situation. It is. Yeah, there he is again. Sneaky energy. So some of you are definitely dealing with an energy that you don't trust. So what does Taurus need to know about all of this? Okay, I'll take both of them. That there may be a separation. And also, um, these new opportunities might not come through because you've got three of pentacles, but it's reversed. And I think it may have come up reversed earlier too. <clears throat> yeah, I already put it back in the deck. What else does Taurus need to know? Um, six of Wands. So... This is kind of like somebody's not getting their victory. This should be a victory card, but it's like, no, somebody's not getting. And again, it's like you want to be happier. Remember this card? This is your challenge card, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You want more stability. You you want somebody who's winning. You know, you want somebody who's more stable, and you want your life to be stable and self-sufficient and all those things. Yeah, and you're wanting to move away from something. That's Six of Swords reversed. Um, 
And here's where you're headed, Taurus. I've seen this for you many times. Here's the world. You are headed towards freedom and success and spiritual evolution. I mean, this is like the spiritual graduation card. This is everything. This is the universe working in your favor. So I feel like you can trust. I mean, I know you can trust your angels. You can trust the universe to work this out. Because there's some kind of competition for some of you. You've been placed in a competition, and that's the disappointment. Yeah, and there's secrets. There's things that you haven't seen, the high priestess. So definitely really tune into your intuition and pay attention because there's something here you haven't seen about the sneaky situation. You are going to be getting your Ten of Pentacles, though, okay? And I'm going to leave it right there because I see you getting this Ten of Pentacles after your eyes are open, and I think they are already, honestly, from how I'm seeing the placement of these cards. You are getting your Ten of Pentacles. Here's Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles, and this is this is going to flip over in your favor. I see this financial stability. Um, it's right here on your path, Okay. So don't be afraid to take the new path. Um, I see some reluctance here, but I would say based on everything I'm seeing, there's some secrets that are going to be revealed to you about some competition and betrayals and tricky energy. And this love offer for some of you just wasn't what it was cracked up to be. So I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news on that, but hopefully it shed some light on your situation because I think some of you wanted that. I, I feel it really strongly. Like some of you really needed some answers. You're wondering about what to do. And this is why there's so much discontent and feeling off balance when I pulled the justice in three of pentacles. Yeah. Um, sorry. Three of cups. Also three of cups reverse can be third party situation as well. And that could be what's throwing off your balance. So keep that in mind and thank you so much for coming in. I love you guys <laughs> and I will see you again soon. Bye.